78 Sports TV here. Salute to the mighty LDBC. Smash the like button, hit the subscribe. Turn on your notification bell so you'll be notified when I drop a new video. And if you're digging the video, go ahead and share this joint. All right, so a lot of people have been hitting me up today. I haven't ch had a chance to uh, really research a lot of this stuff myself, but I'm taking the word of like the four different people that hit me up and wanted me to discuss this. So I, I did see Adrian Brunner versus Blair Cobb's press conference yesterday, and I seen the nonsense that Adrian Brunner was up there talking, you know, uh, talking about uh, he got he got shooters on the team that uh, do this and do that to Blair Cobb, and you better not act up, and you know it, you we can end you, and you know he just saying some of the most dumb stuff. Uh, to keep it real with y'all, I've been in the streets lately. The birds, I'm moving and all this. Like, bro, shut up, dude. Like, you're so, this dude is so desperate to be seen as a, as a street dude. So, bro, get out of here. You've been in a boxing gym your whole life as a kid. You got some money. Then you started hanging around dummies trying to look like you, 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 one of these goofies out here. Bro, I'm telling you, Adrian Broner is one of the most backwards living dudes you ever seen in your life, man. What Loaded Luck say? Ain't it evil to live backwards? It's ridiculous, fam. What are you doing? You done made millions of dollars. Why are you trying so desperately to be seen as some bum dude who never made it out the hood? This dude is ridiculous. So now they're saying that he's going to be investigated. That, that he, didn't, he didn't talk so much mess on that stage that now it's an open investigation from the Fed and Feds on him. Now, I don't know if that's true or not, but that's what everybody keep calling me, telling me, that the, uh, the police, the law dogs are looking for this guy now, investigating his claims of being out here hustling. Man, if this, if there's any truth to what Adrian Brunner is saying, and he end up getting somebody popped off, one of his crew members or himself or whatever, this got to be the, this got to be the most Cheddar Bob moment ever in the history of boxing. Seriously, fam. Really, bro? Be quiet and fight, bro. Just be quiet. Why are you so mad at Blair Cobb anyway? He trash. He talked trash just like you talk trash. You finally got somebody who could talk a little trash with you, and you get up there and start talking. Oh yeah, y'all forgive me. I'm late for the press conference because you know I'm out there moving birds. You know I'm trying to shut up, bro. Just be quiet. Just ignorant for no reason, man. There's, there's nothing cool about it, bro. If you come from that and you ain't never had nothing and that's all you know, that's one thing, bro. We all know somebody like that, right? But you that's not your case, bro. You were talented. You were supposed to be the next Floyd Mayweather. You threw it all away to be a monkey. You threw it all away. You threw everything away. All your gifts, everything you were blessed with, you threw it away because you saw more value in monkeyism. You saw more value in being a primate. That's what you saw your value in. And don't nobody owe you nothing. Ain't nobody got to feel sorry for you. Ain't nobody got to cry for you. Ain't nobody got to do nothing else for you, bro. Jay-Z tried to get you $60 million because he believed in you. What you do, you spit in that man's hand. Just go out here and win on Saturday, bro. That's all you got to do. Just go beat up Blair Cobb and get your life back on track, man. Ain't nobody got time for this nonsense. So I don't know, man. I mean, just this, I'm only doing this video because the homies asked me to talk about it. But, bro, Adrian Brunner is just a goofy, bro. I'm tired of defending this dude, bro. All we're trying to... I ain't going. I'm going to go to a different one. Let me go to Walgreens real quick. There's one right there. But sometimes, you know, for peace of mind, go to the go to the one you're comfortable, most comfortable with. Just for a little peace of mind, you know. But anyway, uh, uh, you know, I always try to defend Adrian Broder because, you know, he reminds me of so many people I, I know, so many people I grew up with, so many people that really, really uh, was living a certain lifestyle and was trying to do better. They just can't get right. You know what I'm saying? And then it's, there's the other ones who are very talented, could have been multi-million dollar rappers and stuff like that could have been basketball players whatever and they threw their talent away because they suffer from the same disease that adrian broner uh suffered from and that's monkeyism you know what i'm saying they suffer from that they think that that's cool they but that's what this society and it teaches our people 
teaching our people that it's something wrong with you for, oh, oh man, you finna go to school? <laughs> man, look at dog, you a square. Look at dude, dude going to school. Man, look, dude trying to get a job, man. Man, you heard about Jimmy? Man, Jimmy trying to go to job court, man. <laughs> man, we gonna be right here in the streets. We gonna be right out here, man. Flipping them birds, you know what I'm saying? 15 years later, they all became snitches and murked each other and all this other mess, just getting out of prison. And here come Jimmy. Here come Jimmy riding that Mercedes Benz. Jimmy did everything the right way. But everybody who laughed at Jimmy, in and out of prison, bunch of baby mama drama, kids don't respect him no more. Now they asking Jimmy, hey Jimmy, uh, you think they hiring at your spot? It's pathetic, and this is what this is the path AB chose for himself. And I say chose because Adrian Broner was one of the most talented boxers of the last 50 years. Ta I'm talking about talent-wise. He was one of the most talented, for sure. Had Adrian, if Adrian Broner had the work ethic and discipline of a Floyd Mayweather, who knows what this guy could have been? Better than Floyd? I don't know. But but he definitely could have been a. Uh, 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 much better than he was. He already, I mean, he already, yes, he, he had a great career. And the things he's accomplished are great. But he could have been even better. That's what I'm saying. But he, he chose primatism. You know what I'm saying? That's what he chose. That's what he chose to value. You know what I'm saying? And he, and he can't stop it. He just, he can't. I got, I got, man, I got, all the, I got these soldiers around me. You say the wrong thing. I'll tell you, if I point at you, man, they gonna hit, they gonna, I got hitters, man. Got, like, bro, don't nobody care about them, them, them hired people you got. You where's your, bro, ain't none of them dudes your loyal friends, bro. You know how I know? Because if I got a homie as talented as Adrian Broner, and he got the potential to make $1 million, just one, $1 million in 36 minutes legally, there's no way I'm gonna be your friend and allow you to do something goofy. I wouldn't be a friend if I allowed you you got that type of earning potential, bro. Guess what? I, me and you fighting right now if you even think about doing something goofy. The people you got around you, AB, are not your friends if they allow you to do anything that goofy. Those are people that are around you as long as you got some money. As long as you can trickle them down some, front them this and that, and then they can do, do whatever they got to do. They be your friend now, but, but as soon as you, you run out, bro, come on, you're going to be like David Ruffin sitting up in the house. Gonna be like Earl Manigo. Man, y'all lying to me. It's only been here for three days. I only been in here for three days. Man, this, this AB story probably gonna end tragically. You know what I'm saying? We don't know what's gonna happen, but you know the man been acting super duper goofy lately. It is what it is. I'm just, I'm not defending him no more. I'm not defending no more primates. And that's our problem right now. Black folks have been, been defending these these, these 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 primates for way too long, and all only thing that it got us is now we've been overrun by chimps. Our whole community is just overrun, over flooded by chimps because we've been saving them instead of just letting them letting them uh, 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 demise, letting them ruin each other. What we do, we saving them every turn, like I was trying to save AB like a dummy. No more. Later for Caesar and the rest of his his, his clan of monkeys. We up out of here. 78 Sports TV salute to the mighty LDBC. I'm up out of here though, deuces.